Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this video, I will show you how to output videos using Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm using version 9 in this demonstration, but this should work fine with pretty much every version of Elements out there. So after you're done editing your video and you're ready for the final output, you can click on Share in the top right. And then I'm going to go in Computer. There's quite a lot of different options here. The one I find works better for YouTube is QuickTime. And then in Preset, I select the 16 to 9 since this is a 720p video. So if anything is in widescreen, so 720p or 180p, I recommend you go with 16 to 9. And then you're going to choose a name for your file. Then in Advanced, you are going to go in Video Codec and choose the H.264. This I find has the best compression for YouTube and most online uses. And you are going to select a width and a height for your video. So this is in 720p. So I'll put these dimensions. The aspect ratio I tried earlier and square pixels seem to give me the best results. To save on the space that your video is going to take, I recommend you go in keyframes. And this is going to depend, this and also the bitrate settings are both going to depend on how much movement there is in the scene. In this case, it's just me talking in front of the camera. So I tried 10 frames and that's fine. It means that every 10 frames, the video is going to be a full frame. And then the next nine frames is just going to store the differences between the previous frame and that one. So that's what the keyframe does. So every 10 frames, it's going to save the entire image, but in between, it's just going to select the differences. And I'm going to limit the data rate to 5,000 kilobits per second. You can check in audio. And I like AAC for the videos. It's a good codec. The sample rate, uh, 48,000 hertz, seems to work well for my videos. So when I'm done, I click OK. And it's going to ask me a name to save this preset. So I am going to call it 720p H264. And I'm going to give a name to the video. And as you can see, the preset is now here. So next time that I want to do a video, I can just select this option here and it's going to do everything I just did. And when I'm ready, I can click save. And this is going to process the video. After the video is ready, near cancel, it's going to change and you're going to have a done button you can click on and then you can open the video in the folder where you saved it at. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and you'll learn something from it. Please leave any questions, comments or suggestions below and I do my best to address them. If you like the video, please click like. If you'd like to see more videos, click subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time and have a great day.